Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Welcome everybody. I wish you've had a great weekend and now let's start studying. Attendance, Alba Noemi Cortez de Gonzalez. Present. Thank you very much. Ana Maria Chacón de Garcia. Not present. Carla Ivane Cabrera Serrano. Not present. Hey guys, I want to see you. <laughs> Remember. Claudia Lizette Canales de Enriquez. Not present. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Thank you. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. No. Present. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Thank you. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Antonio. No. Present. José Saúl González Roque. No. Present. Carla Yaneta Maya Herrera. Present. Thanks. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thanks. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Present. Thanks. Miguel Ángel Paz Anda Verde. Present. Thank you, sir. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Thank you. Ren Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Not present. Ren Marisabel Álvarez Llaves. Not present. Saber Namaba Latín Castro. Not present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thanks. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you very much. Teacher, ya estoy acá. Okay. Um, Ana María Chacón de García. Yes, present. Okay, thanks. Who else? Alguien más? Anybody else? José Antonio, Jovías, Hernández. José. Okay. Sabrina Mabel Latin Castro. Present teacher. All righty. Thank you. So, guys, welcome to another day in paradigm. And let's start with today's topic. Um, I'm going to take that as a present. Thank you, Jose Antonio. Um, Jose Antonio Cubias Hernandez. Got it. Okay, guys. So, let's start rocking the show. And uh, thank you, Jose Antonio. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Number one. Did you have a good weekend? Tuvieron un buen fin de? Yes. Yes, teacher. Very good. Y que no han comido. Come on, guys. What's wrong with you today? It's only Monday. We are missing five more days. Get, step up with the energy. All right. So, um, what was la, what, what, where? Many, right? Where? What were last week's topics? What do you remember about last week? Unit two. Use a can, could, cool, cool, cool. Okay. May. Mm -hmm. Can, might, could, can, may, might. Cool. My what name. are these called? Ooh. ¿Cómo se llaman estos? What are these called? Modal verbs. Modal verbs. Modal verb. That's right. Now, obviamente, tienen muchos usos. No los vamos a, a ver todos, right? You better practice them. Now, what about the verbs? Because these are not really verbs. Is the verb followed? Well, is the verb following base or ing? Base, 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 right. base. Remember, guys, whenever you have a modal verb, it's going to be followed by a base form, which is a infinitive or gerund. Base form? What is that? Infinitive or gerund? Yeah. Infinity. Infinitive. Yes. Thank you, Sabrina. Hey, come on, guys. Wake up. Pero, uh, teacher, me recuerdo que cuando vemos el would you might, Eh, ahí ocupamos el ING. Exactly. Porque would you mind, lo estamos ocupando como frase. Ok, ok. Ajá. Y te acordás en la clase privada que tuvimos en la sesión de one-on-one, -on -one, ¿Sí? tú me preguntabas justamente eso. 
el verbo mind va seguido de gerundio. Ok. Entonces es por eso que ocupamos. Bueno, Fernando. All right, guys, what else? What do you remember about vocabulary related to customer satisfaction? Satisfaction. Uh, high quality. Okay. Uh, Car car características. <laughs> Sería, uh, weight, size. Satisfactor. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that, that, good. Ana Maria, that was uh, unit ones, unit one. So we got high quality. Estoy ah, satisfecho I, o muy satisfecho. Be, uh, very satisfied. Very, very satisfied. Very satisfied. This, oh, how do you say desatisfecho? Insatisfecho. Dissatisfied. Dissatisfied. That's right. Okay. Um, let me see. What are the general uses, guys, of modal verbs? ¿Cuáles son los usos generales de todos los modales? Lo que vimos. Acuérdense que comparten varios. Uh, request, offer, permission. ability, request. permission. Uh -huh. Permission, uh -huh. ability. What else? Offer. offer. Mm. Good, good, good. As far as... How do you say reembolso? Refund. 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 Can you please tell me vocabulary related to ordering things online? Uh, online purchases vocabulary? Uh, credit card credit number, number, credit card information, number, credit card number, uh, credit card login, information, purchase, 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 uh, uh, select items. Uh -huh, to select the items. Uh, item number. Check the price. Item number. Uh -huh, check the price. Log into your account. Log into your account. Okay. Billing address. I have a question. And this is something I mentioned in class, but it's not part of the thing. What is the first digit of a MasterCard? MasterCard. Four. Four. Is four. four. Five. 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 Correct. Five. What is the uh, first digit of a visa? Four. 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 Correct. Uh, the first digit of an American Express? American Express. No. Four. Four. Three. Three. American Three. Express is a whole different animal, guys. Es como que el yo soy especial y tienen sus cositas, right? <laughs> um, how many digits does a, uh, does a credit card have? Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen digits. That's right. How do you call la fecha de vencimiento? Expiration date. Expiration, Expiration date. date. That's right. Come on, everybody. Try to jump in. How do you call the number at the back of the card? CBP2. CBP2. How many digits? Three. Three digits. Okay. Good, good, good. Remember, this is important information that you got to know. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can. You know, this is easy. How do you say este? Close. This. 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 Singular par. That. Singular par. That. Okay. Plural close. These. Those. These. Those. Uh -huh. These. Plural far. Those. 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 <laughs> Take the five right here. Mm -hmm. Those. Those. What are these called? Those. What are the name of this? Those. ¿Cómo se llaman estos? The monster tree pronouns? No? The monster tree no. pronouns. That's the right. The monster pronouns. The hombre tío, porque demuestran. Right? The monster tree pronouns. Okay. Very good. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bueno, nos mañana. Adiós. Buenas noches. Adiós. Buenas noches. Bye. 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 <laughs> How do you say buenas noches? De irse. Good ah. night. Good night. Good night, right? So this is a... Um, uh, how do you call this? A greeting. A greeting. Okay. Saludo. Greeting is un saludo, right? Okay. And how do you say... Buenas noches, de ya me voy. Good night. Good night. Ah, 
Good night. It's time to go. Good evening. No, good evening. It's time to go es lo que le dijo. Eso es lo que le dijo Mike a uh, Walter White. Pero bueno. ah. <laughs> okay, so good evening. Ah, no. Es al revés. No, no, al revés. Es al revés. Es al revés. Es al revés. Es al So good Opposite. night is a bye, is a farewell, a Sam a farewell. And good evening is, hey, ¿qué onda, Buenas noches. So that's, that's it. All righty, very good. So let's go ahead and start with today's uh, class. Repeat after me, please. I will be able to process and understand customers' opinion. I will be able, I will be able, to, able to understand and um, process. process. The, I will be the, able the to process and customer. understand customer opinions. Ah, está haciendo trampa, Chepe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, everybody. I will be able to process and understand customers' opinions. I will be able to process and understand customer opinion. opinion. On a product or service. On a product, on a product or service. service. They receive. They receive. They receive. Great. No, mentira, Jose. Muy bien. They receive. Tenés el, 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 el PDF right there, you know. Eso es. Never mind. All right, guys. So repeat after me, please. I will be able to process and understand customers' opinion about a product or service they receive. I will be able to understand customers' opinion about a product or service they receive. Volunteer, please. Me, Sabrina. Mariana. No, Sabrina. I will be able to process and understand customer opinions about products or service they receive. Good. I like the pronunciation. The only one missing is customers. Customers. The possessive. This apostrophe right there, guys, is the possessive. The possessive mm -hmm. noun. ¿De quién es la opinión? Yeah. The client. Los, los clientes. Cliente. Customers. Yeah. Right. Repeat after me, please. Ask a partner why customers call. Ask a partner Ask why, a partner why, why customers, customers call. call. No do right oh. there. Why customers call. Why customer call. No, no uh, question mark either. Okay. Why? ¿Por qué creen ustedes que le quito el do y que le quito todo el... el el question mark because there is no question exactly because this is not a question guys right this is how do you call orders there is a, um come on how do you call when you give an order a command ¿Cómo se llama eso cuando solo ocupamos el verbo El complemento. Im Imperative. Imperative, that's right. So, repeat after me, please. Ask a, apartment, what, ask a partner why customers call. Ask a partner why customers call. Ask a partner why customers call. Can you help them? How can you help them? them? Pay attention to the pronunciation, please. Write a list. 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 Of Write, Write a list. list. Uh -huh. Write ideas. a list. Write 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 a list. So this is what, what we're going to do today, guys. Before we start with the class. Write a list of ideas. <laughs> okay, good job, man. I like it. I like the attitude. Um, what we're going to do right now is the following. We're going to go to the breakout rooms and you're going to answer this question. Okay, mm -hmm. why do you think customers call? Um, and I want you to come up with, how can I say this, with traits that customer service agents have. With traits son características. Quiero que me hagan una lista de por qué llaman los clientes en cualquier servicio. Okay. The reason, for example, let's say that, um, give them a few. Vamos a hacer unas en grupo. Why do you think customers call? 
asistencia. They call they need help. help because they need help. Uh -huh. Yes, of course. Now let's be more specific. ¿Por qué han hablado ustedes a cualquier lugar? What are the reasons? Check the price. Which one? Check the price. Get the price. I'll get the price. Internet okay. connection problem. To get a quote. The grant. Tra troubles in the service. Okay. Troubleshooting. Okay. Troubleshooting, guys. Aquí viene todo. Internet connection. Troubleshooting. Internet connection. In the service. Internet connection. Issues. Issues. Right? Um, we have uh, no cable service. No phone. The phone is down. Um, the warranty. To get a warranty. All right. So I wanted to give me at least of all of the possibilities why a customer can call. Okay? And what do you think are the best qualities or what do you think uh, a customer service representative has to do? ¿Qué creen que necesite un representante de atención al cliente para ayudar bien a alguien, independientemente del pro el problema? Patience. Ok, to be patient. Experience. Experience, what else? To be kind. To be, be kind. kind. Ok, great, now we're talking. So, again, a list of what? ¿De qué es la primera lista? Uh, ¿De por qué hablamos? ¿Por qué llamamos? Ajá, uh -huh. why we call. And the other one? Features of... Oh. Uh -huh. Necesitas de servicio aquí. What? Service. Trade. Trades. Mm -hmm. Trades. Characteristics. Okay. So we're going to work on this for a couple of minutes because I need you to create a profile. Un perfil de lo que hablan y por qué hablan y un perfil de atención al cliente. All right, so let's go ahead and accept the invite real quick. Give me a second. Carla Ivania, you here? Claudia? Daisy, you're here. Jose Saul, you're here. Don Alfonso? Enrina? Okay, good. Go ahead and accept the invite, guys, and we go from there. Give me a second. All right, go. Create the profile, please. I'm going to give you about 10 minutes, no more than that. Go, 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 go. Jose Saul, Jose Antonio, Sandra, you got the invite? Okay, Jose Antonio is in. Sorry. Sandra, Jose Antonio? A new service? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Request for reclamo. Praise. Need, uh, how do you say it? How do you say it? Any type of food or food? Okay. Consulte, consult, consulting? To order food. To order food, okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, teacher, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre trades y features? ¿En qué momento los usamos? Trades are like, for example, features is for product. Trade. Ah, ok. Trades es uh, personas. Yep. Ok. Um, ¿Cómo sería? No, este, le pregunté que cuál era la diferencia entre trades que son características ah. y features. Él me dice que ah. features son para productos, características de productos, y traits es características de personas. O animales, supongo. Ah. ¿no? O también los animales de features. No. 
También traits. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Eh, para solicitar asistencia médica, no sé. Eh, también. To get medical assistance. Asisten. Medical assistance. El segundo es como cotizar, tal vez, para. Ajá. También, también, sí. Cotizar un producto o un servicio. Uh -huh. Wow. Sugar quote. ¿Y ahí cómo, cómo, cómo es eh, cotizar en inglés? ¿Cómo se dice? Quote. 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 You can get a quote. 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 Por servicio. 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 Por Fallas en sistema no será alguna. No sé. O fallas en servicio podría ser. Que es, por, que es por lo general que la gente llama a algunos lugares. Fallas por servicio. Yeah, that, that could cobertura. be a troubleshooting. That falls into troubleshooting. troubleshooting. Y esa va a unir a la palabra. Troubleshooting? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sure. But you can also say no service, for example. Troubleshooting can be when there's a problem, but no service is everything down. Okay. So when you say my my cable service is down, no es que se haya caído abajo, sino que no funciona. Funciona. Mm -hmm. Great, you're doing great. Remember, you got to work on the profile of the customer service agent, the traits. All right, keep it up. Any questions? No. No, teacher. Good. Thank you. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh.
pongamos lo, en, en lo que tiene que tener la persona quien atiende. Eh, ¿Cómo era la eh, otra parte? Eh, de, de la persona quien está atendiendo este, tiene que tener este, ¿cómo se llama? Característica. Ex, ajá, ah. Experiencia, conocimiento. No, conocimiento. Knowledge. 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 Knowledge.
Es este, como to submit. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Lo mismo. What else you got? Check status about service or... To check order status. Request. Uh -huh. What else? Come on, I know you got more. To, to know technical about support. new process or... Okay, technical support. Ah, technical support. Uh -huh. oh. This is vocabulary, guys. Product available, teacher. Ah, to check on product availability. Mm. Availability. Okay, what else? All you got? Complaining right. about a service? To complain, uh -huh. to file a complaint. Got it, guys. What about the trade? Empathic, patience. Empathy. Knowledge. Now how to listen. Now how to listen. Agility of response. Okay. What else? Focus on the interlocutor. Uh, okay, to focus. Take note. Okay. How do you call whenever you are talking to somebody on the phone? You are reading something on the computer and you are typing at the same time. How do you call that? A multitask. Multitasking, correct. Multi multitasking. Mm -hmm. You gotta be multitasking. Anything else? Be polite. Okay, to be polite. No sé si así se dice. Speak positively. No sé cómo hablar positivamente. ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, I would say positive mindset. Positive mindset, como mentalidad Efect positiva. Efective communication. Effective friendly. Communication skills, okay, to be friendly. Mm. Good. No me he metido a explicar la sabiduría que es una Que no. Ya está. Now. So, for example, we got kind. Kind is an adjective, right? Amable. How do you say amabilidad? Kindness. 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 Amabilidad, right? Okay. Esto es un noun, es solo el nombre. And then you got kindly, which is Amablemente. De una raíz, guys, from one root, you can get different um, different words. Estas últimas cosas son, por ejemplo, kind, nuevamente, es un adjetivo. ¿Por qué? Porque describe, right? Amable. Kindness, amabilidad. No. Simplemente el noun, el nombre. Y luego tenemos kindly, que es amablemente. Ahí vemos el juego. Este es un buen tip para que ustedes puedan aprender vocabulario. Agárrenlos todos, lo que se parecen, de un solo. Right? Y les van sacando. Esto se puede hacer con muchísimas palabras. Ok. All right, guys. So, I really hope that you get like a better idea or a bigger, a bigger picture of this. Um, just one second. All right. Now, let's work on the book group. Stay with me, please. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Everybody, please pick up the phone. Pick, pick up, up the phone. phone. Pick up the phone. 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 Who's responsibility is that? Customer's responsibility or the customer's representative? Customer. 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 Ah, perdón. Ah, el cliente va a levantar el teléfono. No, 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 no. no. Ah, company representative. Company representative. Pick up the phone. 
Ate, will we please understand? Understand. 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 Company company I mean, yeah, but it is not the responsibility for the customer to understand. Generalmente, company representative. They never do. So this is a responsibility of the customer service representative. Why do you think understanding is uh, needed? ¿Por qué creen que es necesario entender? So you can help. Correct. Mm -hmm. Next one. Repeat, please. Explain. 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 Responsibility is that? Customer. 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 Okay. No, company. Okay, I mean, we're, we're talking about responsibilities here. Do you think that a customer has to explain? No. Mm, the box? Okay. De lo, para, de los dos. Customer explain the sí, problem de, and uh, company replace ambas partes, so porque uno, uno tiene que saber explicar el problema y el otro dar una respuesta también clara. Mm -hmm. Entonces, de los dos. Okay. Saber explicar la okay. respuesta. Exacto. O sea, dicho si, problema. Yo hablo, si yo les hablo a ustedes y me está costando explicar, ¿es esa mi responsabilidad? Sí. Sí. No. Ok. No, 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 tiene que entender entonces. Servicio, Solo es entender, la verdad. Entonces va, va de la mano. Entender. Uh -huh. Ok. Entender y explicar. Se tiene okay. la razón. Yes. Esa es una gran paja, pero bueno, anyways. Ok. No, es cierto. ¿cómo no? Por, eso, por eso no se dice, eh, me entiendes o me entiendes, sino que si me voy a explicar, no me aporté. Ok, more polite, that's right. Uh -huh. so I would say, as far as, as far as duties or responsibilities, I would say here, my point of view, my point of view, porque si yo no explico bien al cliente, no me va a entender bien. O sea, es mi responsabilidad. Next one, complain. Complain. Ajá. Uh -huh. meaning of complain for the ones who don't know? Queja. Queja. Es del cliente. Quejarse. Complain. With a T. Esto también yeah. se lo pueden complain. complain is the verb, which means quejarse. Okay. With a T is the noun, which no. is queja. Queja, okay. So we got the verb. This is a verb. Complain. And then we have complaint, which is a noun. Uh, okay. Yep. So customer, right? Yes. Help. Customer. Company. Customer. Company. Company. Customer. Company, right? But say it with me, please. Help. 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 Next one, Help. please. Request information. Request, Request information. information. Request information. Customer. Customer, right? Customer, yes. Uh, uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. Anyways, next one. Get prices. Do we say get mm. or do we say give? Get mm. the get company get representative. Company. Obtener mm. precios. Customer. 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 Yo, ya, yo llamo Customer. para que me den ofrecen. Get, yeah. obtener. Get prices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Get prices. Next one. Provide Price. information. Runs information. Provide one information. Companies. Provide one information. Company. Companies. Companies. Company. Okay, all right. I mean, I understand, but what do you think it is? Provide one something. Proveer la información de uno mismo, ¿verdad? One. Customer. Customer. Customer, that's right. Company. 
Uh, proporcionar información. Mm -hmm. Once information. Yep. Next one. Assist. Company. Assist. Company. Company. Bye. Customer. Customer. Yeah. Uh, company. Okay. What is your doubt? Hey, no. um, yo, yo uh, buscando y me decía que era proporcionar información, ¿verdad? Yeah. Pero de uno mismo. Ah, es como proporcionar la información de uno mismo. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Una información de uno. Juan. Ah, okay. Gracias. You're welcome. All right, guys. So, say with me, please. Complain. 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 Request information. Request, Request information. 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 Shin. 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 Information. 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 Shin. Ok, good. Acuérdense. P-I-O-N. Va de la S-H a la N. No hay O. No hay M. Shin. Shin. Information. Information. Now, you tell me if it's correct. You're going to say correct or you're going to say incorrect. Information. Correct. 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 Information. Incorrect. 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 Information. <laughs> okay, good. So that's how it sounds, guys. Get it. One more time. Shin. Information. 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 Correct. Information. 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 Incorrect. 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 Information. Incorrect. Incorrect. Very good. Now, let's go. Let me ask you something. Um, what was? Have you ever, alguna vez, have you ever called customer service? Yes. Yes. I was. Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. By the way, I got a lot of people without the camera. What's going on today? One, two, three, four, five, six. Se bañaron o qué onda? Come on, guys. Remember this. Hay bastante interferencia, tío. Sí, hay bastante. Yo igual casi no le escucho. En cuanto a hoy, ¿de dónde viene? Okay. Pues hombre, todos están en miedo. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and continue with today's class, guys. Um, I'll try to do it the best as possible. Hay dos temas mezclados. Hey, how to use past of be and simple past affirmative. How, how to, to use pass of B and simple pass affirmative. How to use pass of B and simple pass affirmative. Ajá, simple pass affirmative. Esa es la palabra de Wait for. ¿Dónde la ubico? En ambos lados, porque no la vi en ningún lado. What? En number 11. Oh. Del, del recuadro anterior. No la vi escrita en ninguna de las dos lados. Oh. Customer. Oh. Pero era de customer. ¿no? Yeah. Aunque yeah. también podía ser de, de, de ambos lados. Pensé. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're talking about mm -hmm. like, like the main, like what normal. I, the customer service representative, por ejemplo, eh, usted es el dueño de la línea. Sí. Mire, disculpe que estoy trabajando desde casa. La verdad. Eso es un cambio. When the customers call, when the agents call, is outbound. 
Así se le conoce en la industria maquilera con aire acondicionado llamada call center, outbound. 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 Inbound es cuando inbound. usted llama. Outbound, inbound. ¿Ok? Now, no hay nada malo con la industria maquilera con... Hagan bien. Right? Trabajé con... All right. So, let's move. It was a great experience. It I was a great, great experience. experience. The agent was very helpful. The, the agent, agent was, was very helpful. helpful. The agent was very helpful. You were on our page. You were on our page. You were on our page. We were we were excited about service. We were excited about service. About service. Great. So let's go ahead and work with the past of B. What is the uh, structure for... Guys, uh, perdón, estoy muteando a varios porque se está viniendo demasiado feedback de sus lados, ¿ok? Eh, teacher, una consulta, sí, que es medio, pero la diferencia de pronunciación entre el where de pasado de, de B para los you, uh, eh, todo lo demás, y el where del lugar Context. de pronunciación. Solo el contexto, pero la pronunciación es la misma. Pretty much the same. Where are you? Ok. Where were you? Where are you? ¿Dónde estás? ¿Dónde estás? Sí. Where were you? ¿Dónde estabas? ¿Dónde estuviste? Where ¿Dónde estuviste? ¿Dónde estuviste? Ah. Ok, guys. Okay. So the past of B is... Um, say it with me, please. Give me a second. This thing. I am happy. I am, I am happy. happy. I am happy. Yeah. happy. I was happy. I was happy. I was happy. Okay. Um, you are happy. Tired. You are tired. You were 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 tired. He is my brother. No, he is my friend. He is my friend. He, is my friend. he, is my friend. he was my friend. He was, he was my was friend. friend. He was my friend. She is my boss. She is he, my he boss. Is my boss. He is my boss. He was my boss. Yes. He was. It was. It is early. It is early. It was 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 early. We are students. We are students. We are students. We were students. We were students. They are in New York. They, are, they in are in New York. They were in New York. They were in New York. They were in New York. All right, so let's go ahead and analyze it, guys. This is the past of B. What is the structure for the past of B? Verb. Subject. 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 Okay. Subject. Plus. Pass of B. Pass of B. B is am um, is R, correct? Yes. So what is the past of B? Ah, was where? Ah, uh, was where? Where? Plus? Verb. 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 Complement, that's right. Now, let's analyze it. When do we use was? ¿Con qué pronombres? Uh, I, I, he, I, I, he, I, she, he, she, it, 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 it. it. That's right. Where? Uh, you, 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 we, we, they. they, we, they. Right? Any questions? Question. I mean, 
I haven't explained anything. No les he explicado nada. But comparing, comparando. ¿Tienen alguna duda? Dicha, ¿verdad? ¿Anybody? Now, I'm going to say something in the uh, present, and I want you to say it in past, okay? Okay. You are my students. You were, you were my students. You were my students. Okay, good. It is Monday. It is Monday. It was Monday. It was Monday. It was Monday. Okay. You are in my house. You were in my house. You were in my house. Okay. Um ah, bueno, esto cae también. Never mind. Um he is he is a cop. He he was a cop. He was a cop. He was a cop. cop. That's right. She is my girlfriend. She was my girlfriend. She was my girlfriend. Para bien o para mal? Gone. Um, we are English students. We were English students. English students. Okay. They are. Um, Oh, lo más triste. They are thin. Ellos son delgados. Oh. <laughs> they, they were, were thin. thin. They were thin. Correct. Okay. So this is pretty much, guys, how the past of B is used. What is the tip I can give you? Is this. It is the same structure as the past of B. La misma estructura que el pasado de B. Que, que, God damn it. Is... El presente de mí. Esa cosa. <risa> ok. Es lo mismo que tu B. Lo el único que me debo ocupar. M, am, is, are. Vamos a ocupar was or where. Was or where. ¿Y cómo vamos a saber si es was or where? Dependiendo del nombre que estemos. Subject. Dependiendo del sujeto. Entonces, si yo digo Roberto. Sí. Was. was. Roberto was. was. Eh, Michelle, was. 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 my dog, was. 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 Eh, José and Sandra, was. 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 Janet, Sabrina, and I, you, okay. Uy, no era eso lo que quería votar. Ok, dime, how do I? ¿Alguien sabe cómo se hace? No, oh, eso tampoco. Ok, no sirve el control, control Z, Z aquí. Control Z. <laughs> no funciona. Okay. But anyways, you got it. Ya se los voy a volver a poner. Now, simple past. Say it with me. I gave my account's information. I gave my account's information. 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 He called yesterday at night. He called oh, 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 at night. 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 The program worked well. The program worked well. Worked well. well. They bought that product last week. They, they bought, bought that, that product, product last, last week. week. Oh, All right. So, what do you think is the structure for this? Subject. 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 Very Complement. Complement. Miren, señores, una pregunta. ¿Y esto que no es lo mismo que simple present? Usan un verbo en pasado. The structures start repeating themselves again and again and again. If you understand the base of the structure, guys, you're going to have a lot earned. Si entienden la base de la estructura, ya se fueron. Ya lo demás es puro qué? Vocabulary. Vocabulary, that's right. Now, we already covered, ya tuvimos una clase de simple past, right? 
Regular mm -hmm. or irregular? Irregular. Irregular. Regular. 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 Irregular. 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 How can you memorize them? ¿Cómo se lo van a aprender? Memorizing. Memorizing them. Practicing. Practice. Practice. Practice and practice and practice and practice. Any questions with both structures? <clears throat> no. Are you sure? All right. So since there's no question, let's go ahead and complete these exercises before we take attendance, okay? I be interest product. I was interested. I was interested. I was, I was interested. 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 Y el complemento, ¿qué le vamos a meter en ese ah. la salsita mm. entre interested product? Mm. I was in a in a product. product. You buy the item December. You bought. You bought. You bought the item on um, item on December. On December. On or in? In. In December. In December. In December. Mm. Yep. Let me give you the tips right here, guys. With preposition, you're gonna use in for uh, months. Okay. Mm. And you're gonna use on. Or dates. Dates. Okay. For example, in January, in Enero. El primero de Enero, on um, January, 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 January 1st. 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 Okay. Great. Next one. She read the policy. She uh, read. 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 The policy. Y que no cambió el verbo porque yeah. se escribe igual pero suena diferente read red right. like the color yeah. mm -hmm. next right. one the super, supervisor, the supervisor gave, gave me a discount supervisor, supervisor gave, gave me, gave me a discount. Ya está, ya está. The supervisor yes. gave, gave me a discount. Me a discount. Why didn't I change it? ¿Por qué no lo cambié? Why didn't I change it? Because, Because it is past. Past. Because the verb yeah. is in past already. Great. They send the contract my email. They send the contract my email. Like this? Yes. Are you sure? Are you sure, Ro? Computer trick. Yes, Use your magic fingers. Yes. Send, pero con T. Decilo de nuevo. Send. 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 They send. Very good. They send. Contract. ¿Qué ocupamos para destino? ¿Se acuerdan de las tarjetas de Simán? To, uh, from my email. My email. Ah, no, to my email. Great. Uh, great, 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 great. Uh, And the last one. He be disappointed. He was disappointed. He was. He was. Disappointed. Uh, was disappointed. All right, let me do something real quick, guys. Was I? Uh, I. Was he, she, it. And we got where you. You. Was I? He, she, it. Where you we they? All right. What is the structure? 
Subject. Subject. Uh, yeah. What is the word? Complement. Yes, Complement. What is the structure of the other one? Subject. Subject. Perfect. As complement. Complement. Okay, let me take a screenshot of this and I'll send it to you right now. Very good. All right, check your, check your phone. Okay, guys, let me go ahead and take attendance real quick. Alba Noemi Cortez de Gonzalez. Listen. Ana María Chacón de García. Listen. Cardivane Cabrera Serrano. Not present. Dao de Lisette Canales de Enriquez. Not present. Deborah Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Daisy. Oh, she's not here anymore. Okay. Bueno, por motivos de auditoría en Sephora, la participante ya no se encuentra presente. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Tobias Hernández. Present. José Saúl, Roque, José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Yenet Amaya Herrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Ana Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Renal Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvaro de Chávez. No, present. Sabrina Mabalatín Castro. Present. Sandra Elisa de los Hortos Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Okay, very good. Um, bye, guys, real quick. Con, en cuanto a la asistencia, estaba analizando la asistencia de estas últimas dos semanas. Tengo cinco personas con dos faltas. Ok. Uh, quiero dejar de antemano claro que yo entiendo cuando hay que faltar. Enfermedad, se sienten indispuestos. Les vale 20. I mean, it's up to you. No soy quien para juzgarlos. Eh, cada quien sabe lo que tiene que hacer. Solo les quiero decir buzos a las personas que ya llevan dos recuerden que tienen que cumplir el 80% no solo de asistencia sino de minutos ok, sacaron 100 en la plataforma eh, estuvieron, pero si esos eh, requerimientos no pegan adiós curso me alegra que hayan aprendido algo pero ya no lo veo en el siguiente, así que por favor buzos con la asistencia, y lo otro quiero parar la sangría de los viernes señores porque el primer viernes me, me faltaron cinco y el segundo viernes me faltaron cuatro. Entiendo que sí hay tráfico los viernes, se pone loca la cosa, pero en la medida de lo posible, si van a tener un, su reunión familiar o algo que no sea 100% urgente, que los esperen a las 10. Right? Así ustedes ya llegan cuando hay ambiente, ya todos están más contentos y ya solo llegan a ser el alma de la casa. Así que señores, por favor, buzos con la asistencia los que llevan dos, y porfa, quiero tratar de parar la sangría de los viernes, que hay unos que solo los viernes me faltan, ¿verdad? <coughs> right? Exacto, exacto. Ok, guys, so, let's go ahead and continue. This is what you're going to do. I want you to please give me at least uh, five examples of uh, was and where. You know what? All the pronouns, I, you, he, she, it, we, they, con was and where. Toditos. I, you, he, she, it, we, they, con was and where. I, you, he, she, it, I, we, they, seven, con was and where. And I need at least five examples of simple past. Okay? Written. All of you the same. How many examples with what and where? Uh, seven. Seven. All the pronouns. Examples with uh, simple past? Five. You know what? Five. Make it six. I want you to give me three with regular verbs. Okay. And three with irregular verbs. 
Alrighty. So go ahead and accept the invite. I'm gonna have new groups because we got more people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, go for it. I'll see you in about, I don't think you're gonna take more than 10. Go for it. Mariana, did you get the invite? Yeah. Six, six, uh, simple place. Okay. Start with seven. Wasn't where? Yes, I was. Yeah. Hola. Hola, hola. Okay, number one, I was on the beach. Uh, or friends. Friends. Or good friends. Sí, también, or good friends. We were good friends. Uh -huh. He was, he was. He was uh, um, a police. He, he was a police. Uh, she or you or it, they, it, you, we, he, she, it, they, we. She was. She was what? She, see, she was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. gordo te veo. Estuviste gordo. He was my boyfriend. He was my. <laughs> Aquí yo lo voy a cambiar, exacto. Mm. My girlfriend. Exacto. No, porque es Ki. No vas a poner girlfriend con Ki o que ya era trapaxi. <laughs> she was my girlfriend. Ajá. Yo tengo, she was the secretary. She was. Try to work all of you. Miriam, give examples too, please. Was the psychology? The psychologist. Mm -hmm. yes. Psychologist. Yes. Good. Right. Yes. Any question? You can call me. Okay. How are you doing, guys? Hey, uh, Carol. Aplicaría teacher, they were from the soccer team, como ellos eran del equipo de fútbol. Yeah. They were uh, part of the soccer team, perhaps. They part. were. Huh? They were part of the soccer team. Ah, okay. They were part of the soccer team. It was a good class. 
ya. Oke. Okay. Try to have, okay. guys, try to have the same examples, all of you, okay? Support each other. Apoyense entre ustedes. Mm -hmm. right, good. Sí. <coughs> Tengo ahorita el de, they were surfers, vea. Uh -huh. Sí. Y ahí no. es. Oh, me equivoqué. Damn. Ay, no, hombre, no, no les estoy sacando. Ay, Jesus. I can't, I can't go. Okay, continue. You have one minute, we're going to come. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, she was gymnast. Uh -huh. She was gymnast. She was a gymnast. Um, I would say um, an athlete. Gimnasta. Uh, okay. I gotta double check. Gimnasta. Mm -hmm. I gotta double check. Gimnasta. Uh -huh. uh -huh. How do you say it in Spanish? Gimnasta. Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a chubby boy. Not part of my vocabulary. <laughs> You finished? Wasn't where? Yes. Simple no part. yet. Yeah, no, no worries. It was a mistake. Me equivoqué de botón. So go back, guys. Go back. It's a mistake, please. Sorry. <laughs> hey, it's Monday. Sorry. Mute. Mute por eso, teacher. Mute. Mute. Okay, go back. I'll give you five more minutes. Go, go. Sorry. Hi. Hey, Jose, did you get the invite? Jose? Hello. Le llegó la invitación? Hello, ¿Sí? teacher. No? Okay. No la acepte. No la acepte si le llega. Solo dígame si la llevo. Ahora no. Ahora no o ahora sí? Ahora sí, ahora sí. Okay. Le digo. No, le digo. Ok, hoy sí, go ahead and click it, please. No, le doy a entrar o le digo ahora no. No, no. Ah, ya, ya le entendí. Es que a mí, como a mí nadie me invita a los breakout rooms, se me olvida lo que sale. Dele entrar. Excelente. excelente. Ajá, thank you, sir. Sí. Sí, esos son más. A lot of. You know. El pital, sí. lector. Good choice. Gwen. <laughs> Gwen. Ajá, yo fui. Confiar. Bit. Piren. Become. Became. Become. Become. Bet, doblar, bet. Ah, no, apostar es bet. Ajá. Ah, por eso se llama bet365 la página. Now you know it. The sponsor. Bit, es pujar. Bit. Pero pujar de cuando estamos, eh, por ejemplo, estamos en una subasta. Ajá. Podemos decir ahí bit. Sí. Y, no, y, se, y, y, y eso sí vale. Está igual, esos verbos son los que me dijo la vez pasada que me aprendí ahora primero, los que se escriben y se igual, solo que se pronuncian diferente alguno, pero. There you go. Pit, pit. ¿Cómo voy a saber yo? Bueno, tendría que ponerlo ahí en pasado para escucharlo en el traductor, cómo se dice la pronunciación, aunque Context. se escriba. Context. Context, pit. Always pay attention to the context. All right, keep going. Bind, bound, bound. bound. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. By beat. No. Cut. Cut is the same. Cut. Cut. Get cut. Cutting. 
try, moler, ah, es un montón de verbos que he visto, pero no sabía que eran verbos. Vaya, pues creando todo, señores. Help ya todo. las tenemos, ya las tenemos. Oh, you finished everything with was and where? Sí. Yes. And with regular and irregular verbs? Yes. Then get some more. What you doing wasting time, guys? Es, eso estoy haciendo, conociendo nuevos verbos. Entonces, coméntele a los demás. Come on, I need this thing moving. No time waste. Ese, ese de grind he escuchado en un juego, en un simple pass, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, ahí va la, la que dijo Débora. Uh -huh. Ah, teacher, teacher, una pregunta. I have a question. Is correct eh, he was playing soccer in the park? Yep, but that will be past continuous. Ok. So it is correct. Ok. Es que ese es el tip, guys. Ahorita de, de simple present, solo cambiamos a was and where. Y vamos a hacer lo mismo con el, el present continuous. Siempre, siempre después de después de was or where el verbo que le sigue tendría que estar en y en heba por ejemplo para in, in that structure yes okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yo sé okay. si está bien it's was running también Miguel sí 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 está bien vaya Débora ¿cuál era Débora? It, it was raining yesterday ah la primera mm. ajá después tiempo de paz I visited my parents yesterday. Okay. Okay. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. My next. You were kind with the customer. We were good friends. He was a police or police. Nice fix. Yep. She was sick. Yes. Teacher, she was she was sick yesterday. Yep. Sí se puede decir. Yep. Sí. Ah, okay. Teacher, y el, el verbo live es regular. Yep. Dejar ah, El que es el left, el pasado. Left. Me acuerdo, estoy confundido. About what? Confused about what? Es que me pensaba que el de lived era el pasado left, pero no va. No. Ah, lo que pasa es que, depends, leave. Left, left. Ajá. Ajá. Cabal ahí estaba. Live. Lived. Lived. Uh -huh. Live de ir. Live de vivir. Y luego tenemos live. Pero en este caso la pronunciación live es en vivo. Uh -huh. Right? So yeah, now I understand. In that case, live is a... Uh, Irregular, the irse. Ah, okay. Hablando de live, goodbye. Let's go back to the main room. <laughs> bye, bye. Ooh, almost. <gasps> what is wrong with me and my pigs? All right, guys, we're going to be waiting for the rest of the class, <clears throat> and then we're going to practice.
All right, so let's get this thing moving, guys. The last person that shows me a shoe is going to give me an example. Last person that shows me a shoe. Come on, move it. It's Monday, and I need to wake you up. Last person showing me a shoe. Last person showing. That's a chancla, man. That's not a shoe. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> Come on, I need you to show me a shoe. Okay, okay. Come on, people, go get a shoe or take it up. How do you say quitate el zapato? Get up. Good. It doesn't matter if it's Magico by Bracos, if it's Nike. I don't care. I need people showing me shoes. Okay. No shoes? Jose Saul, Alba Noemi, Catherine, Hector. Jose Antonio, no shoes? Okay. No shoes. All right. Jose Saul, you're going to be my first victim. Give me an example with uh, I. Was. Jose. Jose. Eh, ahorita, en este momento. Great. I was sad. I was sad. Sad. Ah, so sad. Okay, great example. Give me you. Example with you. Um, you, uh, you clean at the house. Con, con, past of B. Con, what? Past of B. You, you were, uh, you were fat. You were you fat. Were, okay, don't try to make me feel better, sir. I am fat. Still in the I am fat. A good example. All right, last person showing me a suck. Some sucks, some sucks. Two or one is fine, some sucks. Vocabulary about closing. Okay, Fernando, no. you're free. It's no. Suck? No, no, you know, justo, how do you say? Not fair. It's no fair. Uh, okay, there you go. I just need you guys to wake up. Come on, it's Monday, I need to make you wake up. No, no. Very much, suck, okay, no suck. Cora, cora. Que barba. Suck, suck. All right, uh, Deborah, give me an example, <laughs> always with the past of B, with he and she. Uh, will the verb be? Yes, uh -huh. past of B with he and with uh, uh, she. She was a good dancer. Is that correct, guys? She was. Yes, she it's correct. was a good dancer. There you go. Now give me an example with he. Yes. He, he, he was on the beach on, sun, on Sunday. Okay, he was at the beach on Sunday. Great job. Good job, Deborah. Now, last person showing me a belt. A belt. 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 Oh, I don't even have a belt. I don't know. Belt, okay. You got it, William? Come on, people. Belt. No sé dónde está, se me pierde siempre. La maña del colegio, ¿ya? Yeah. Okay. Good. No belts. Que no están en el cuarto, chicos. Qué bárbaro. No tengo, mm -hmm. sí. No, yo no estoy en mi cuarto. Okay. Um, no la has sala, dicho. Estoy... There you go. Daisy no has uso. a belt. Le va a caer los pantalones. Van a... okay. Hector, give me an example. Are you, he, she, it? It, uh, it, 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 it and was. It and we. Yeah. Hector? It was red color. It was a good class. It was red. It was a good class. Very good. Next one. I need you to show me $100 bill. Oh. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't have those. You see, lo tiene, I'm going to pass it. No. Uh, show me a coin. A coin. A coin. Coin. No a coin. Point. All right. Hector, you're safe. Fernando, you're safe. Come on, guys. I need your movie. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, William, yeah. you're saved. Carla, you're saved. I don't have coins. What is? Hector, you're saved. What is? Miguel, you're saved. <laughs> what is? 
te digo, a coin, a coin. Okay, so, Ana María, thank you for volunteering yourself. Ana María, give me an example with A and the past of B. Uh, sample, uh, past simple. Sim uh, the past of B with they. Okay. They were in the beach? Uh, somebody, somebody already said that. <laughs> Give me another one. Hello. Otro. Another one. Alguien ya lo dijo, Ana María. Ah, okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> they... Qué bárbaro. Qué bárbaro. Qué bárbaro. Qué bárbaro. They were they were my partners. They were my partners. Good job. Next person showing me show me a hat. No tengo. I don't have it. Hat, 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 hat. No hat. My hat, my hat. <laughs> I don't have it. No hat. I don't have it. Oh man, I got a lot of victims. Ah, ah de, de cualquier tipo. I had. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Ana María. Good job. Um, Miriam. <laughs> give me two examples. There you go, Miguel. Nice, nice. Give me two examples with other <laughs> verbs. Oh, oops. Miriam. Nice look. <laughs> Look, naive. He passed the phone, bicho. Miriam. Sorry, teacher. No le escuché mucha interferencia. Sí, verdad es que estos muchachos no se comportan. Um, <laughs> give me two examples with the past of be, please. No, no, no. With uh, regular verbs in past. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Thank regular you, Daisy. Uh -huh. Regular verbs in past. Um, uh, you cleaned the house. Great, another one. Good job. One more, please. One more with regular verbs. Okay. Uno más, please. Okay. She opening the door. Okay. She opening or she opening. There you go. Good job. Good job. Thank you very much. Now, next one showing me the classic hook. Estoy lejos. I'm far away of my, my, my room. There you go, Miguel, Mariana, Catherine. No había visto a Catherine en toda la clase, solo el gancho, pero thank you very much. Albano y me too. Coming out from the shadows, saliendo de las sombras. Okay, Sorry. Thank you, Daisy. All right, Sandra. Thank you. Give me examples. With, give me examples with. Están pidiendo cosas. I returned to my country in December. Y no la lleva a quitar las cosas. Ya regañaron a René, mire. <laughs> okay, that's a great example, Sandra, but that is a regular verb. I'm asking for irregular verbs. I returned to my country in December. Okay, return is regular. El verbo return es regular porque solo se le agrega uh -huh. ed. Los irregulares ah, son que cambian, uh, que no son de, o que se quedan igual. Por ejemplo, cut, cut, cut. Uh -huh. Los tres, uh, mismo. Ok, entonces, I visited my parents on the weekend. ¿En qué termina visited? Visit, visit, mm -hmm. perdón, visit. Regular. Okay. Visit. It is regular, porque termina en ed. Así es. Ok, entonces mm. deme un irregular. Irregular. Yes, it is. Is I visit. No termina en ing. I visit my parents on the weekend. Oh, termina en ed. Correcto. Eso es lo que. No, 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 no. Esto es lo que todos necesitamos. Muy bien, Sandra. Está bien. It's okay. Um, el verbo visit, the verb visit, is a regular verb. Es regular porque en el pasado termina en ed. 
todos los verbos, every verb that finish in ed is a regular verb. Teacher, ¿cómo voy a saber si es regular o es regular? Que yo no entiendo. Memorize them. You gotta memorize them. There's no shortcut. So, los irregulares, Sandra, son los que terminan en algún orden diferente, como send, que termina en T, mm -hmm. y el otro okay. termina en D, perdón, y el otro termina en T. Send, send, send. Mm -hmm. Those are the irregular verbs. Ok, thanks. Nada de gracias, denme un ejemplo. <risa> <risa> Uh, she called uh, in Monday uh, a party. Ok, good. Me llega que sigue dándome ejemplos. Ese también es regular, pero ahora ya, ya detectamos que simplemente tenemos que buscar más irregulares, Sandra. So no worries. Y a cualquiera, no se preocupen. Pero así participando es que se detecta lo que hay que mejorar. This is how we learn. Good job, Sandra. Ahora, voy a, pe a pedirle a alguien más Búsquese un verbo irregular. Y me da un ejemplo, por favor. Le voy a dar tiempo. Ok, so somebody else, guys. While Sandra is looking, mientras Sandra busca. Sí, sí, sí Miguel. Go ahead, Miguel. Yo voy a decir que está correcto. I went back to my girlfriend for a fool. Is it nice? What? <laughs> ah, mira, I got. I. <laughs> I went back to my girlfriend. Is it correct or no? Uh, no. Or a fool. It depends on how she treated you, buddy. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I came back with my girlfriend. Or I hooked up también. Un poquito más coloquial. I hooked up with my girlfriend. Es como que te volviste a enganchar con ella. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. All right, very good. Sandra, you ready? Teacher. Uh -huh. You drank very beers? Who told you? <laughs> yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Good example. Okay. So, um, Sandra, remember, you still have to, have to give me the example. Now, we're going to be practicing for the next 30 minutes. We're going to be working with this. Read it with me, please. Tell me about your last vacation. Tell me about your last vacation. Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? So that's one. What did you do? What did you do? Dime acerca de tus últimas vacaciones. ¿Dónde fui? ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Y dónde? Next one. What did you do for your last birthday? What did you do for your last birthday? Oh, I went to a restaurant. I ordered, I don't know, a ribeye. I drank lemon tea, etc. Tell me about what you did for the last 24 hours. Tell me about what you did for the last 24 hours. Oh. Well, I woke up at around 8 a.m. I took a shower. I got dressed. Uh, <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. And you continue. When was the last time you went to a movie theater? When was the last time you went to a movie theater? You went to a movie theater. What did you see? What did you see? So, la última vez que fueron a un cine y que vieron. I and bet. I Les apuesto que fue hace más de un año. Yes. <laughs> Don't cry with this one, please. Don't cry. Who was oh, your first okay. crush? Who was your first crush? Who was your first crush? Who was your first crush? ¿Quién fue su primera? Okay. How do you say crush? ¿Cómo se dice crush en español sin ser vulgar? Um... Oh, Amor platónico. Ajá. Ok, thank you very much. My first crush was. <laughs> I can, you know, and then you say the name. She was a classmate in seventh grade, séptimo grado. And then. Wow. 
When was the last time? Repeat after me, please. When was the last when time? Was time? When, 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 was when, was when was the last time? You were really when excited about something. You were really you excited, were really about, excited something. About, about something. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que estuviste uh, muy emocionado acerca de algo? Okay. What bands were popular when you were young? <clears throat> What bands were, were popular, popular when you were young? young. Mm. So, yeah. when I was young, así pueden contestar, when I was young, Korn was yeah. popular, Marilyn Manson was popular, Limp Bizkit was popular, etc. What TV shows were popular when you were young? What TV shows what TV were popular, TV show were popular when you were young? Um... When I was young, Dragon Ball Z was popular. Yeah. Pokemon was popular. And then, you know, many years back, the Looney Tunes, etc. When was the last time you were shocked? When was, when was the last the time you were shocked? The last time I was shocked, it was when I found out that a friend had an accident. Do you understand all the questions? ¿Entienden todas las preguntas? Yes. Yes. yes? Yeah. Go for it. Accept the invite, guys. Ah. See you at 9.45 to take attendance, and then we go back. Okay. Hey, Casey. Oh. Mm. Copiaron las preguntas. Están en el chat. Um, no, yo no, no se, se borran. Uh, si quieren, se las comparto aquí. Ya lo veo. Quiero ver. Oh, ah, que bien, que bien. Pero. You got them right there. Ahorita los mando a WhatsApp. Uh -huh. ah. Tell me about, Tell me about your last vacation. Tell me about your last vacation. And you do. Okay. What did you do? ¿Qué hiciste? No significa. Sí. Eso está onda. Okay, tell me about your last vacation. Okay. Ah, where did you go? Fernando, where did you go? I went to the beach with okay. my wife and some friends. Okay, what do you go? What do you do? What do you do? I, ¿cómo se dice? I, I ate pupusas, ¿cómo se dice? Ate, se pronuncia, ¿verdad? Ate pupusas. I ate. I, I took a shower in the, in the sea. Sea? I took, me bañé, o sea, me fue a meter al mar. I bathe. I bathe in the in the ocean. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I play a soccer with my friends. Okay. In, on the beach. So. Now you can send the question. For example, a new actor, a new Mabel. Okay. Go. Good job. Uh, what about you? Hey guys, how are you doing? Teacher, ah, tengo una pregunta. I hope I have a question, an answer. Vamos a contestar todas. O solo vamos a escoger alguna. It's up to you. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that, that would be better. Come on, challenge yourselves. Okay. Démosle. Okay. Where did you go? Mm, 
I was visit Mexico City. I was visit those verbos, el to be y el visit. Um, I visit. I visit. Oh, I mean, yeah, but yeah, yo visité Mexico. It's like, you know, I went to Mexico. We are Mexico. I was Mexico. I was Mexico. Okay. The question is, where did you go, right? Donde fuiste? Remember, ustedes pueden contestar como les venga en gana. Y lo digo en el buen sentido, no que me esté tirando. Pero si les preguntan con simple past, contestan con simple past. Ah, es como la primera pregunta que dice: eh, eh, de O sea, como es simple past, contesto agregando el simple past. Correct. So if the question is: where did you go? ¿Dónde fuiste? I went to Mexico. Ok. So, sí puedes decir, well, I was in Mexico. Estaba en México. Muy bien, nadie te va a decir nada. Pero están preguntando con, past, con simple past. Generally, you answer with the same. In the question, you have the answer. In the answer, you have the question. Mm -hmm. Ok. Pero vaya, y si le quiero agregar más, es como, I went to Mexico City and I visited yeah. tal y tal lugar. Yeah. Ah, va. Mm -hmm. I visited. So, vamos, no, vamos a escribir tanto, mm -hmm. solo déjenlo ir y ayúdense entre ustedes. Help. Ok. Vale. Paga, María, tú son la sorteada. Si estás en México. <laughs> Pero no me acuerdo qué vi. So oh. that is something else. Come on, practice. It doesn't have to be 100% real, guys. Fui al Museo Nacional de Antropología. I went to the uh, National Anthropology Museum. Eh, pero sería como, I went to Mexico City and I visited the National Anthropology Museum. Museum. Yeah. Sí. Yeah. Se fue mi. Ay, ahí está. All right, keep it up. Come on. Y te dijimos trabajo. Ajá, y me quedé. En ahí visité. ¿Qué dije? Ya ni me acuerdo. Ahí visité el Museo Antropológico. The National Anthropology Museum. Ajá, Museum. De ahí, ¿qué hiciste? ¿Qué más hice? Uy, es que fue hace años. So, come on, say something different. De hecho, dice your last birthday, el año pasado. El último. Ah. Come on, guys, I need, mm. I need some fluency. Oh. It's okay that you laugh, but you know. Gotta work harder. Bueno, mi cumpleaños pasado fue muy triste. No hablemos de eso. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's take attendance real quick. Um, Alba Noemi Cortés de González. Present. Ana María Chacón de García. Present. Cardi Ivani Cabrera Serrano. Not present. Claude Lisette Canales de Enriquez. Not present. Oops. <laughs> Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. Thanks. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Jose Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Don Alfonso Madrid Escalante. 
Present. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. No, present. Sabrina Mabel Atín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. All right, guys. Um, go back, please. And I'm, I'm going to ask you something. Traten de responder lo más directo que puedan para que no se pierdan tanto. Ahorita vamos con lo básico y luego pueden meter más información. So, contesten. What did you do for your last birthday? Well, I went to a restaurant and I had cake. Fui a un restaurante y me comí un pastelito. ¿Ok? And you, Miguel, y se la pasan a Miguel. So you can all practice. ¿Ok? Las tienen que contestar todas, no necesariamente, pero den en orden. Eso está muy difícil. Démosle la otra. Porque si no pierden mucho tiempo en ver eh, esta sí, esta no. Challenge yourselves. All right? Go for it. Let's go, let's go. Fluency practice. Go, 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 go. Mariscada. And you, José Antonio, what did you do? Uh, I, I went to many places. I went, no, I went to many parties with my family. Nice, that's good. Nice. Carla Yanet? Yeah. 10 to 10, 10? Yes. Okay, good. Get your questions ready. My 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 first crush was a, a beautiful boy, but I don't remember. His name. Uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, al, para Alba, my platonic love was <laughs> Chayanne, dijo. Oh, keep leading. No. He said, come on, keep it in English at all times. Try to keep it in English. She my said, first, my first, first gift was her first uh, love. All right, keep it up. Good job. I like it. Okay, uh, bye, chicas. What bands were popular when you were young? Eh, menudo. It was, it was, it were menudo. No, it was menudo. menudo. It was uh -huh. menudo. Menudo was popular. Uh -huh. Menudo was popular in my time. No, in oh, my yes. uh -huh. Now, si fueran varias bandas, menudo... Um, what else, Débora? Los chicos. Chicos. Menudo, los chicos. <laughs> los chamos. Los chamos. The most popular band in my country was La Máquina. There, ahí I es where, porque mencionó dos o más. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it's they. Good, I like it. Okay. Yo sé, ¿se ve? The most popular, the most popular band in my country was La Máquina. There you go. Now you're talking. Great job. Uh -huh. Okay. Even no, no recuerdo. Quizá, maybe my. Chayamba, ese. No. Uh, Mr. Arana. Uh, he was. Uh, he was uh, my teacher. Ciencia física. De números, de números. Física. Física. Física, ¿no? Era una rama de la matemática que llevaban ustedes. Ajá, ¿no? sí, física. Es, mm -hmm. um, he, he died, he died, um, I did, ya, ya falleció, en paz descanse, mi señora Ana. Ok, he passed away. He passed away. Mm -hmm. He passed away. All right. He passed away. He passed away. He passed away. He passed away. Okay. The net. The net. <laughs> Saul. <laughs> Who was your first crush? <laughs> Dennis. 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 Dennis.
The beat, please. <laughs> Who was your first crush? Ah, no remember, no remember. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries. Okay. We When was the last time you were really excited about something? <laughs> Repeat. When was the last time you were really excited about something? In my case, uh, ¿cómo se dice en mi caso? Así, in my, in my case. case. In my case, uh -huh. this Saturday, this, this, this week, this, uh, I think the semana, this weekend. 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 This weekend. And tell us um, why. Because, and because I was celebration the birthday of my friend. Okay. okay. So how do you say, porque celebré el cumpleaños de mi amigo? Simple past, subject, verb, complement. Ah, because we we because she no celebré because celebrate 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 uh, Paula's Paula's birthday. Nice. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Good job, guys. Good okay. job. Es que no las había contestado. Pero ya voy, ya voy. La otra es. Who was your first crush? Hijo, pues, no sé. Come on, try to keep it in English, guys. Come on, Marianita. What's going on right there? Wait, what? I don't know. I don't remember who was my first crush. <laughs> When was the last thing you were really excited about? Well, When was the last time you were really excited about something? Mm. Mm. You can answer, yeah. I was really excited when... I was, I was really excited when... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Salí de la universidad. How do you say? How do you say? Okay. When I graduated... <laughs> No salir, te graduaste. Eso. Te graduaste ¿no? Graduate is the verb. Graduated is in past. When I gra graduated. You. When I graduated. Let me write it down. No worries. Uh -huh. When I graduated from the university. University. When you know, ah, when, when I graduated, graduated, graduated from the university. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Go ahead, keep it up and try to keep it in English, guys. And you, Renee? Mm -hmm. uh, when the vacation. <laughs> it was, ¿cómo se dice? Fue cuando estaba en vacaciones. I, I was when eh, the vacation no sería. Ah, me estaba de vacaciones. Uh -huh. I was on vacation. When I was on vacations. Good job, sir. All right. Let me check my last group and we go back. Okay. Uh, uh, vaya, uh, Hector, what I bands? I only five years. Uh, uh, Hector, what bands were popular when you were young? Yeah. That's a good idea. Oh, uh, co Coldplay. Coldplay, okay. Coldplay? Coldplay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh. perfect. Or, let's you... say, it says, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. But, 
I remember uh, it in my when I was young. Uh, the the popular uh, bands or singers are Britney Spears, Christina right. Aguilera. Bands? That is ah, not bands. Perdón, perdón, a... perdón. Uh, where? Where? Mm -hmm. so Christina but, Aguilera, Britney Spears. No, ah, there is no bands. Uh, uh, yes. singer, sí, right? banda, yo sé, pero dije singers or, or bands. Ah, ok. En Linkin Park. Linkin Park. Linkin Park, Park. Sí, eh, yeah. Gorillas. 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 Ah, yeah. Gorillas. Yeah. Eh, That's when MTV Blink. was good, right? Yes, eh, Blink yes. 182. <laughs> 182. 182, ok. Yeah. Eh, and what the show were the popular ah. when you were in jail. What's going on? All righty. Did you get a chance to practice? No. <laughs> yes. yes. Not really. Not really. Not really. Okay. So, um, una de las cosas que tienen que ya ir sabiendo hacer es contestar preguntas. ¿Ok? Últimamente se han fijado que les estoy tirando más cuestiones de contestar preguntas que produzcan. Estas preguntas simplemente las saco de internet. Por favor, no es tarea, pero si ustedes las pueden contestar, contéstenlas. ¿Ok? Si tienen alguna pregunta, me la hacen. ¿Me lo pueden mandar? Sí, pero 18 personas, 20 personas mandándome ese gran testamento me voy a tardar. Así que si tienen preguntas en concreto, pueden poner o démosle vida al grupo con estas preguntas. Pero eh, martes, miércoles, vamos a trabajar con pasado. Así que por estos días, rebúsquense con los verbos en pasado, rebúsquense con aprender cómo ocupar, no, no aprenderlo, practicarlo, porque ya les dije cómo. The past of be and also verb in past. So thank you very much, guys. I appreciate the effort. Les agradezco mucho el esfuerzo que hacen por estar aquí en clases. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Carla Janet, please stay. The rest of you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Jose Saúl and Jose Antonio. Hit the red button, please. Have yourself a good night. Jose Saúl. Jose. Hello. Okay. Hello, teacher. All right, so we are done. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Great job, sir. Have a good one. Take care. Bye bye. All righty. So, Carla, uh, tell me, what are your questions for today's session? For the session of today. Um, con lo del was and where. Mm -hmm. Pues, si ocupamos un verbo, hay que ponerle. Tiene que estar en pasado también. Buena pregunta. No, no se ocupan los verbos. Uh, ¿Cómo te lo puedo decir? Vamos a ocupar was and where solamente cuando tengamos am, is, are. Para todos los demás verbos, ocupamos su verbo en pasado. ¿Me explico de nuevo? Para am. Todo yeah. esto, todo esto, si tú te fijas, es para ponerle fácil, sujeto, verbo en pasado, complemento, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el pasado de am, um, is, are? Es was, was and where. Was and where, correcto. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el pasado de it? De it. Uh, no sé, teacher. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Eight. Está bien, hay que, solo hay que aprendérselos. Okay. ¿Cuál es el pasado uh -huh. de dance? Danced. Very good. So, right? O sea que depende, Carla. Si a ti te dicen I am happy, vas a ocupar el pasado de am. I was happy. Uh -huh. Si a ti I te dicen uh, 
por ejemplo, querés cambiar I dance, yo bailo. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el pasado? I danced. Danced. Uh -huh. So, cuando tú tengas la oración, dependiendo del verbo, eso vas a ocupar. Entonces, si yo digo, yo estaba enamorada, uh -huh. I was loved. I was in love. Ah, I was in love. Pero me quiero abrir. ¿Por qué no me saca esto para? Bueno, ok. Solo estaba viendo quién le tocaba. Vaya, acá. For example. Ajá. Esto. Vaya. Esto lo vamos a ver mañana, pero voy a ocupar. The sentence is, I am satisfied with my laptop. Esto es el ejercicio. Es diferente a lo que vamos a hacer mañana. ¿Cuál es el verbo? What is the verb? Satisfied. Mm, satisfied es satisfecho. No. Es, el, es el adjetivo. El verbo es am. Am. Ah, Yo estoy ah, okay, okay. satisfecho con mi laptop. So, uh -huh. como tú dijeras, yo estaba satisfecho con mi laptop. I, I was. Uh -huh. I was satisfied with my lap with my laptop. Uh -huh. Satisfied with my laptop. Laptop. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cuál es el verbo? Am. Am. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál uh -huh. es el pasado uh -huh. que vamos a ocupar? Was. Uh -huh. Porque estoy ocupando el verbo to be there. Uh -huh. Okay, next one. Martha writes a letter to her boss. Yes. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Marta no. writes. Ok. Eh, Marta, no, was. ¿Por qué was? was. Mm, no, 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 no. No, es Marta wrote. Ajá. Ajá. A letter. A letter to her boss. To her boss, correct. ¿Por qué estás ocupando wrote? Porque uh, es buena oración. Ajá, uh, it's right. It's right. So, uh -huh. no, tenés, no es necesario ocupar los dos. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Si el verbo que te tiran, va, vamos a terminar y después tú, tú misma me vas a explicar lo que has entendido sin yo decirte más nada. <clears throat> we are so happy with the food service. Give me the past of this. Sí, we was. We were, sorry, we were. Uh -huh. We were so happy with the food service. Ok, good. Wait. Pedro and me, it's actually Pedro and I, pero anyways. Pedro and I drive to the company. Past? Uh, Pedro and I uh, drive to the company. Drove, drove. Mm -hmm. drove to the company. Ok, very good. Next one. The principal sends too many emails. Yes. El director. The principal uh, sent mm -hmm. many emails. Okay. Great. And the last one, the program is too slow. Too slow. Mm, the program was. Okay. It was too slow. Okay, so explícame tú. Va este, así como me lo dije al principio, o sea que lo que se cambia es el am, el is y el are. Okay, y qué, o sea, ¿qué eso vamos... lo cambia. Correcto. ¿Qué vamos a cambiar por el am is are? Was and were. Okay. Si tenemos am, um, is, are, o si nos referimos, porque no siempre vas a pasar de presente a pasado, ¿no? Esto solo es para que vean la diferencia. Uh -huh. So, si nos referimos a sí. el pasado de am, um, is, are, que es el verb to be, usamos was and, and where. where. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué? Porque was and where es el pasado del verbo to be. Okay. Okay. Ahora, si nos referimos a cualquier otro verbo, porque ahí está el detalle, 
wasn't where, uh -huh. para am, is are, para todo lo demás que ocupamos. El verbo en pasado. Correcto. So, usamos uh -huh. el pasado del verbo en cuestión. Uh -huh. Entonces, no tenés o no necesitas, uh, Carla, um, meter el am y el otro verbo. Eso se ocupa en otra estructura, uh -huh. que es el past continuous, la vamos a ver más adelante. Pero si tú pones, por ejemplo, I was, y quieres poner el verbo dance, esto está malo. Esto está uh -huh. malo. Si tú haces eso, tienes que poner dancing. Que eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Es el pasado de presente continuo. All right? So, si tú quieres uh -huh. ocupar was seguido de otro verbo, es otra estructura. No es tiene que verbo. ser. Uh -huh. okay. Y tiene que ir en ING, que este es el pasado de I am dancing. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces, esto lo vamos a ver más adelante. Así que, no, no se puede poner was y el verbo. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces. Uh, was. En, no, fíjese que dije en una oración, quería saber si estaba buena. ¿Cuál okay. era? I watch, no, I went to watch. Eh, ¿Cómo lo dijo este muchacho? Ajá, I went to watch en la, en una película. ¿Se puede decir así? I went to watch. Sí, pero bien españolizado. O sea, Ajá, es que yo sí lo... Sería I watch directamente. No. O... I went to the movies. Oh. Es, es como más natural. Eso ya significa I went to the movies. Es como fui a las películas. Pero obviamente, la vamos a ver, vea. Ah, ok. Pero si yo quiero decir, yo fui a ver... ¿Tal película? Ahí sí. Pero es que el hecho de ir. I, I went to. Bueno, ahí sería. Es que cuando, I, cuando contestamos la pregunta que usted nos hizo del. ¿Qué viste? Uh -huh. What did you watch? ¿Qué era? Yeah. Ajá, entonces, ¿cómo sería la, la, la respuesta? I watch. Espérate, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Pero en pasado. Cuando fue la de la última vez que fuimos al cine. Ok. Entonces, Va, entonces, tell me the name of a movie. Ahorita ya ando. No se me ocurre ninguna. I can't come up with anything. Uh, Avengers. 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 Ajá. Entonces ahí sería I watch, I watch Avengers. Exacto. Porque en la misma pregunta... Ya te está pidiendo. What was the la, when was the last time you went to the movie theater? Entonces, ya en la pregunta Ajá, te está es diciendo ese... que tú fuiste. Ah. Al cine tenés que ir, ¿no? Y ahí puede ser también. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Ahí solo podría decir two years ago. ¿Qué? O I went two years ago. Otra muy buena pregunta. Generalmente, las expresiones de tiempo van al final. Generalmente, so, es parte de tu complemento, pero ya de último. Acuérdate que uh -huh. si vas a poner, yo vi, ¿qué viste? Yo comí, ¿qué comiste? Eso ¿Qué es lo que ve inmediatamente. Uh -huh. Y si quieres poner las expresiones de tiempo, van al final. Entonces sería, I went, I watched Avengers two years ago. Uh -huh. Y puede ser la misma respuesta de, hey, uh, when was the last time you went to the movies? What did you watch? I watched Avengers two years ago. O puedes decir, mm -hmm. two years ago, generalmente lleva una coma, I watched okay. The Avengers, es no el nombre. Sí, sí, sí. 
The Avengers. Mm -hmm. Watch. Ah, sí. Okay. Two years ago. Entonces, and... en... démosle. Uh -huh. Ok, en... And... Yo tengo una duda con el in y el on. Bienvenida. Porque dijimos tú. nosotros... <ríe> es que ah. dijimos... Fui a... Uh, I went to the beach. Luego escuché que dijeron I went on the beach. Ah, es que... Creo cuando... que alguien dijo at the beach. Vale, te lo respondo acá. Cuando tú ocupas go, tenés que poner to. Ok, o sea, si quieres decir, always, yo fui a, si quieres decir a qué lugar fuiste, sí. Siempre. Ah, okay. Las tarjetitas de Simán, vea. From origin to destination. I went to the beach. Siempre. I went to uh, Soya. Es porque va con el verbo go to, que es ir. A tal lado. Ah, okay. Ahora, si vas a ocupar proposición, ya ahí depende. Puedes decir, I'm at the beach. I'm at the beach. O puedes decir, I'm in the beach. Ahí ya tendríamos que atacar las diferencias de in y de at. Que in es generalmente cuando estás en lugares cerrados. I'm in my room, por ejemplo. En I'm at, solo para hacer mención que estás en el lugar. I'm at home. I am at home. Estoy en casa, pero quizás no necesariamente adentro. Puedes estar afuera. Este tema es un poquito confuso porque mucha gente los intercambia y no le da mayor atención usando in o at. Sí, es un poco ¿Mm? complicado, pero creo que sí. sí. Pero creo que con el go to, creo que ahí sí me queda claro que, es, que va a ir go to. Uh -huh. Creo que ahí sí. Y luego con uh -huh. at, por ejemplo... Puedes decir expresiones como I'm at the park. Estoy en el parque. O sea, no hay paredes. Es un lugar abierto. Right? I'm at the park. En uh -huh. okay. I'm at the museum. Estoy en el museo. I'm at work. I'm at, uh, I'm at home. En todo eso tú estás mencionando que estás ahí, pero no necesariamente. Adentro. Okay. Este sí es de, es de prestarle más atención y agarrar un montón de ejemplos. Y el in es literalmente dentro. Dentro del lugar. I'm in my house. Estás entre las cuatro paredes. I'm in the kitchen. Estás dentro de la, de la, de la cocina. Yo I'm in the sí. bathroom. Estás en el baño. Dentro. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. All right, Carla. Thank you very much for your time. Hope you have a great evening. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good job, girl. Thank you. Have Bye. a good one. Bye.